Hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Backroads. We're here with you again. We're in the Ozarks Backroads garage. We've got the mighty uh, Tiger 800 up on the blocks today, the, the last year's model, the 2019, last year the 800 engine. And uh, we're gonna do a throttle body sink on this thing today. I've tried this before uh, using vacuum, my vacuum gauges. There's nowhere to hook up vacuum on the throttle bodies on the Tiger here, so you have to use a scanner and look at them on the computer. So I've got some software that'll work and a, some, and a scan tool that works with the software, a Bluetooth uh, connection device. So stick around, we'll do a throttle body sync on the 2019 Tiger 800. Well, you can see I've already got the fairings off and the, and the tank is up, exposing my breather housing here. Um, if you need to know how to do that, I've got another video that shows taking all this off, the fairings and uh, getting the tank up. I'll put a link in the description below and you can check that out if you need to know how to do that. But today we're just going to move on from here and uh, get these throttle bodies synced up. Well, the first thing I'm going to do before I start ripping and tearing in under this gas tank, taking anything loose, is I'm going to go ahead and unhook my battery. I don't want to have any issues with doing any damage, unplugging sensors, or possibly causing problems. It's always good to unhook your battery before you start unhooking anything else. We've got the tank up, and we're looking at the top of the breather here. One of the things I want to be sure and do is, we, since we've got to run the engine on this to sync our throttle bodies, I want to make sure all my sensors remain plugged up. I don't want to have a sensor unplugged and set a check engine light. And I've got one sensor, I've got the air charge sensor right here. And what I'm going to do is remove this screw rather than unplug the sensor. I'm just going to remove the screw, pull the sensor out, leave it plugged up and set it aside. That way I won't set my check engine light. So it just has the one screw in it here that holds it in. And then we just lift the sensor out, leave it plugged in, set it out of the way over here. And uh, that'll keep from setting my check engine light when we start the motor up. So now I've removed all the screws from the top of the breather all the way around, around the perimeter. So this uh, lid will come off. I've got one vacuum hose that plugs onto a nipple on the other side over here that I need to unplug. And uh, this will come right off and expose our, uh, our air filter. We've got to remove the lower portion, the filter and the lower portion of the uh, breather housing to get to our throttle bodies to adjust them. To get our lower, uh, to get this lower Housing off, we've got to take our air filter out. We just got a couple of screws right here. And I've already changed this one out with a K&N filter. One that you can clean and oil and reuse. And then we got these air horns here that hold the, the breather housing down. So they have to come out with the breather. And there's a two screws. So we'll get those out. All right, so once all of those are loose, out. We just got a 10 millimeter bolt right in the bottom of the breather housing here. Or actually, it's an eight millimeter head on that. We'll remove that and then our breather will come off. We've also got a sensor up here that's just sitting on the, it's using the housing here as a uh, mount. I'm gonna have to unplug it right here. Push down on the connector and it'll slide right off. And I'll uh, do the same thing with this. I'll take it off the housing and plug it back up here before I hook my battery back up and start the engine. All right, so that'll come out like that. I'll take this sensor here off and hook it back onto my vacuum hose and plug it back up. I don't want to start the engine with any sensors unplugged. I've kind of got a close-up here on the back side of the, the three throttle bodies assemblies here. And uh, I just wanted to show you the, uh, where the screws are that you adjust the vacuum for each throttle body. There's a snoot little snout sticking out with a flat, uh, just a flat screwdriver, a small one, 
in each one of these. Each one, there's one for each throttle body. I think this guy's kind of in the shade over here, but one here, one here, and then one over here for the number one. And this, the leftmost cylinder is number one, and then two and three over here. Got all my sensors plugged back up. I had two. This one was mounted to the front of the breather. I had to take the screw out of it. I plugged it back up. Got the vacuum hose on it. And then our air charge sensor that was in the top of the breather. I've just got it. It's plugged in. It's laying over here out of the way. That's hooked up. And then I went ahead. I had a couple of vacuum hoses here that hooked to the tank. Two uh, nipples up under the tank here. I plugged them off. And then the big, the big uh, hose here, the top of the lid, the breather lid, I got a plug in it. Uh, so it's plugged off. So that should get all of the, everything is, uh, no vacuum hoses are open and all my sensors are plugged up. I should be able to start this up and not uh, cause any errors. So we'll take a look at the software we're going to use and we'll get connected to our computer here and, and uh, take a look at the vacuum on these throttle bodies. Here we are at, uh, under the rear seat. This is the passenger seat would we'll go right here. And uh, my uh, scanner that I've got, my little Bluetooth link is, uh, is an OBD Link LX. Uh, there's the model number on it, uh, model LX101. This just plugs into our uh, OBD2 connector right here, which sits right here. Sits over a little plastic pin. You just take it off, and this plugs into this. Now, right now, I've got the ignition off, so it's not turned on. The bike isn't turned on. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. You can see we do have power, even though the ignition's off. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get my smartphone out and I've got their software loaded up uh, on this. And the software is the Tune ECU uh, application. You can get that off of the Android, uh, Android Play website. So I'm going to open that up and that brings up our menu here. This is our main screen. And up here where it says ECU, I'm going to touch that and I'm going to go connect. And then it says connecting. And it says the connection's requested. I'm going to allow that. And looks like I'm connected to the ECU now. Now at this point, I'm going to turn the ignition on. I've, I've hooked my negative cable back up on my battery. So I'm going to turn the ignition on and make sure my uh, kill switch is in the run position. It's not in the stop position. First thing you notice here on the home screen is I've got my vacuum. I can read vacuum off cylinder one, two, and three right here. It's, it's up all the time. So all I need to do at this point to uh, sync is uh, start the bike up and then I can go to working on the adjustments to get those all equaled out. Now there's <clears throat> some other things we can do that I need to do and one of them is uh, error codes. If I check that, I have two error codes um, that I set way back when I had the breather <clears throat> I had the uh, breather housing off and I didn't plug one of the sensors back in and when I started the bike it set these codes uh, so I'm going to go ahead and reset these and get rid of them. And right here it says erase codes, erasing error codes. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start the bike now and, uh, see if we can, uh, tune on these, uh, throttle bodies, see how they look and then see if they need adjusted. What I'm seeing here is uh, cylinder two is the lowest. It's at 560. Cylinder one at 570. And then cylinder three is the highest. It's running up around uh, it's about 10 more than cylinder one. And cylinder two is about 10 less than cylinder one. 
So what I think I'll do here is I'll, I'll raise cylinder two up to match cylinder one. And they're pretty close. It's kind of bouncing back and forth up here. And then cylinder three is just a little high. I'll drop it down to match cylinder one. So I'll try to get them all to match cylinder one. I dropped uh, cylinder three down, trying to match cylinder one here. I went just a little too far, it looks like. So we'll bump this back up. I think I've about got them tuned in here. I've been working on them, trying to get them equaled out. We'll take a look at them here and see how they look. I believe I've got them pretty close there. Probably as close as I'm gonna get them. They bounce around a little bit, but they're all kind of going together, so I think they're real close. Well, folks, that wasn't too bad. That's a pretty good way to uh, do the throttle body sink there. You don't have to mess with the gauges or anything. So I think that worked out all right, and they weren't that bad off, but they're pretty close right now. Uh, that was the uh, ECU, ECU Tune software. You can get that off of the Android Play site. And then the, uh, the Bluetooth connector is the OBD Link uh, LX model. That's what ECU Tune rep, uh, recommended, so that's what I, that's what I got. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and doing a throttle body sync on the Tiger 800. That worked out real good. I invite y'all to come back. We'll go somewhere, do some other things. Till I catch up with you again, y'all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time.